Hello my pretty ants, welcome back to my channel. I've been summoned, I was tagged repeatedly on this fine humans video. I found the perfect reason recently to go on a quick getaway trip to Greenville, South Carolina, and that was to see Pinky Patel in person. So if you like Pinky and you like travel vlogs, then grab your chapsticks and let's go. If you're curious about Pinky and wanted to check her out, I'm including her TikTok account here for you to look at. I do follow her on my TikTok app on my mobile device, but on the Google website, um, I'm not signed in, so that's why it looks like I'm not following her. She has an Instagram account, she has a YouTube channel, but her main focus is TikTok, and with 5 million followers, why wouldn't it be? Um, she has a really humorous spin on looking at other people's TikToks and kind of, you know, making a little bit of commentary about them. And I wanted to share one of those with you just so you could get a feel for the type of thing she does. So she's definitely branching out into the comedic world and doing comedy tours. And I went to her Hello My Friends tour, um, which is what I'm sharing today in this video. And she does have another tour upcoming in 2023. So check out her website, grab some tickets and enjoy her show. And here's one of her TikToks to give you an idea of what she does. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. I'm just checking in on you. You've been kind of stranded on that escalator that stopped working, I think it looks like, since October. And I'm really worried. I, I need to know, did you make it? Did it turn back on? Did they fix it? Because sometimes, you know, I'm at the airport and those escalators don't work. And I don't even know how I'm supposed to leave the airport. I'm surprised I've made it. If I didn't have somebody with me to tell me, Pinky, we have to go this way. I would still be stuck at some podunk airport you know what i mean like those escalators whoo i hope you're okay girl did somebody give you come and give you food and water how did you handle going to the bathroom that's serious business like how long have you been on that esc i'm concerned girl i am concerned whoo somebody needs to help these gen z element appears oh goodbye okay i made it i'm in greenville i just parked in a parking garage it's the first one i found once i got onto the um, street that's pretty much right here at Comedy Zone. I can't wait. I'm gonna see Pinky and I'm excited. I was able to take a quick picture of Pinky up on stage doing her thing and then in front of her backdrop promoting her Hello My Friends tour after the show. It was a lot of fun. And then I wanted just to show you the ambiance of the restaurant that had outside seating in front of our apartment complex and speaking of apartments this was the one bedroom airbnb i stayed in and it was really nice it was very much um clean cut just you know a basic layout i loved it being a corner unit because the windows were so awesome and of course definitely for privacy i was pulling those blinds down after i shot this and then of course coming into the bedroom here just your standard you know bedroom and they also had a bathroom and i was very thrilled that they had a great walk-in closet that i did not show you on camera but also a bathtub and i love taking baths so that was really awesome i had some bath bombs ready to go in case there was one so anyway that's that and then i absolutely missed fireworks but i wanted to show you the aftermath of them right there <laughs> and then finally um i was on a kick to try to get um, a certain number of steps every day and because I had been driving so much and sitting down at the show I was getting my steps in showing off the shirt I got from Pinky's show it terrified me so much because again it was before the comedy and I was trying to make this influencer yeah, lifestyle yeah. work for me fit into our family I love that people are starting to invite Pinky onto podcasts to hear her story and how she got started with her comedy and this is a podcast called where my mom's at where you can find this interview do you ever feel like you're leaving something? I feel like I'm leaving like a ton of things, but I've got my keys, I've got my purse, my yoga bag is in the car, and I'm off to take some hot yoga. It's wonderful. I haven't done that in years, so I'm excited. I just went out the wrong door of this apartment complex. This is where I'm staying right here. And there's also the restaurant from last night that I showed. So anyway, I'm off to the uh, parking lot to get in my car and go find the yoga studio. <laughs> I'm back in the apartment from the hot yoga class I took. It was awesome. Um, if you've never taken one, I strongly recommend it if you don't mind a ton of sweat. The rooms are 
um, usually 85 degrees up to 95, just depending. Um, and you don't notice it at first, but after you've moved around on the map for about 15 minutes, you really do literally start dripping sweat. I mean, I just had it just running down my arms. Um, I was just dripping, you know, from the forehead, the nose, the chin, the whole nine yards. It was really wonderful. I was melting by the end of the mat. I mean, by the end of the class. And um, so on my yoga mat, I have a yoga towel that I um, took with me and it just is the length of the yoga mat. It's usually universally sized and I just put that on and then had Shavasana, which is where you lie down at the end of class. And it was, it was wonderful. It feels so good on your joints too. So I'm going to finish up the kombucha that I got there and take a shower. And then, um, I do have one little work related thing I need to do, which is to help out my friend Meg answering questions and um, helping out with some ideas and so forth for some yoga teachers that we work with. So I'm gonna do all of that and then I'll get back on with my day. I really enjoyed my afternoon walking along Greenfields River Walk. They had a cool children's park underneath this overpass by my Airbnb apartment. Um, the main park is Falls Park on the Reedy River, which is quite a mouthful, and it has been named a top US park by TripAdvisor. And in fact, the New York Times called Greenville a national model for a pedestrian-friendly city center. I definitely agree. Lots of stuff to do here. They had points of interest like the waterfalls, of course, a city-protected tree with exposed roots here that you can see, um, and also Liberty Bridge that spanned across the river. I wanted to try out this local coffee shop, but they were closed for repairs. Um, I also happen to be in town on the days when their trolley service was not running, but that gives me another reason to return. So I'm off to go back home, and I hope you enjoyed this travel vlog.